Pokemon is a cultural icon. Come on, everyone and their grandma knows about Crustle. Heck, Crustle's so iconic that it's even showing up on manhole covers now. No, seriously. Poke Lids is a series of manhole covers with Pokemon artwork on them placed around Japan. There's well over 200 of them, and lots of them are genuinely great. The very first one showed Eevee, because of course it did, but they very quickly branched out. Obvious stuff like the Kanto starters being found in the real Kanto, all the way to stuff featuring Galarian Farfetch, Daxbun, and even Simiseer of all things got the spotlight. We'll never really forget about that survey. Different parts of Japan focus on different Pokemon too. Shockingly, there are only five Pikachu Lids in total, while the Mie Prefecture really likes Oshawott. A lot. There's also Niigata with quite a few magic including a shiny one, and Miyazaki got really lucky with Executor and the Regis. So much of this art just feels so alive too. Seedra and Kingdra under the sea while Lugia flies overhead. Gardevoir elegantly looking at the totally real moon. And Tropius. Tropius is just cool. And as ridiculous as it might be seeing something like Suicune on the entrance to a sewer, these are still just super neat. But at the same time, they're manhole covers and they never made one for Grimer, so how do you mess that up? 